Hey everyone, Tim Lewis here, back in the studio. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to use green screen in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, specifically using Ultra Key, the Ultra Key effect, which is a very powerful tool within Premiere. Um, that comes with Premiere and uh, it's, it's a very powerful tool that you can use in green screen, lots of different variables that you can use to adjust your settings. Um, so let's get started. Haha, <laughs> no, I'm lying. I have one more thing to, to say to you guys. You know when people say, oh, we'll fix it in post, it, it's fine. Don't listen to them. Make sure that green screen is in pristine condition before, during production before you go into post-production because it makes your life so much easier. Um, Make sure your green screen is well lit. Make sure there's no shadows, no, no bright spots. Make sure it's evenly lit. Uh, and that makes a world of a difference in post-production. It makes your life just so much easier. You'll see why I, I showed you, I'll show you guys later on. So here we go. Okay, so I just dragged this footage into my project and uh, put it, made a new uh, timeline. As you can see, it's just me in front of a green screen. And as you can also see, this is a very evenly lit green screen background. Make sure not just your green screen is well lit, make sure your subject is well lit as well. Um, I'm in studio lighting, so the lighting isn't exactly how I want it, but you should have a key light, a fill light, and a backlight. If you're curious on lighting, comment down below and I will make a lighting video. So very quickly, we'll go down to the effects tab here and search ultra key which is right there. I'll drag and drop that into here, bring that onto here, go to effects, and I'll scroll down. You'll see Ultra Key is right here. Now output, right now we're gonna keep it with composite. That's how you can choose uh, the color that you want. Here's the little dropper tool, uh, and you can choose green. Look at that. You should also keep in mind that I'm using a C100 with an Atomus Ninja 2 external recorder. What that really, what that does is, um, records it into uncompressed 422 uh, footage as opposed to internally, which is the C100 SD card compressed footage. Um, so it, it kind of creates artifacts and the footage isn't as crisp as an external recorder does. Um, so that's why my footage looks so good. So uh, just so you can see what's going on behind me here, uh, I'm gonna go to new color mat. Do white, white, I'll call it white. And make sure whatever you want behind your subject is uh, below the clip on the timeline. Because whatever is below the timeline is what shows up behind the subject. So as you can see, that looks pretty good just from dropping. Um, and also, you know, I'm gonna have to color correct it too. I look a little bit green. I'm not sick. It's just the green screen spill. So I just wanna kinda go over what you can really do with all these variables here. Uh, first off, what I usually do is I hit pedestal, pe the pedestal all the way up to 100. Um, it might be different for you, but it works every single time for me to have pedestal all the way up. It just makes things so much easier. Um, shadow. You can adjust the shadow. As you can see, the shadow on my hair and my shirt uh, are kind of going away, so that kind of, so you can adjust that. Um, highlight, as you can see, my shirts, the highlights of my shirt, uh, it has a little bit of green tinge to it, so it's kind of working on that as I go back and forth like this. In transparency, kind of just like what it is, it works with the transparency so I can look like a ghost. So if there is a little bit of spill, you can go down to spill suppression and then uh, work on this here, which kind of, basically what this does is brings it from green to magenta, which is the opposite on the uh, color wheel. Uh, so that kind of gets rid of that, but you can do a better job of getting rid of green uh, by using the three-way color corrector. That's what I usually use, but uh, that will be another video. So just to show you guys what uh, badly lit green screens can do, yeah, I'll turn off this. I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna delete this effect. As you can see, this isn't a well-lit uh, green screen. I turned off some of the lights, and uh, you can see there's a lot of shadows. It's not well-lit, it's not evenly lit. It doesn't look good. So if you go over here and choose the dropper tool, I just chose like a fairly medium colored green. It doesn't look good. But let's see if uh, Ultra Key can do it. I'm gonna bring Pedestal all the way up, Shadow, 
Oh, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Wow, look at that, it looks pretty good. But as you can see, um, there's a little bit of uh, shadow, you know, shadow in my hair, so it gets a little, uh, a little funky there. But you know, you can also kind of work around it if you, if you put time into it. Um, that looks pretty good, actually. So I just reduce the transparency and then also reduce the shadow. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, my face agrees. But like I said, this is recording on an Atomist Ninja 2, so it's a very high quality recording. So one, I have one more example here. I'm gonna delete the uh, effect and I'm gonna fast forward here. This is why the subject needs to be well lit and not just the green screen. Um, I mean, I guess that kind of speaks for itself, but some people, they don't do that. So the subject looks not lit at all. Um, it just doesn't look good. So I'm walking away from that because I'm not happy. So that's basically it. Ultra Key is a very powerful tool within uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're not getting what you want out of this effect, uh, try using After Effects Key Light. The Key Light effect, uh, that's a much, much more powerful tool, but probably 90 to 95% of the time, uh, if your green screen is well lit and everything, Ultra Key will get the job done. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. If you want me to cover some other effect or some other thing within videography or editing, comment down below. Um, subscribe on the side here, and uh, I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.